Good afternoon folks, welcome to my channel and uh, today we are going to change the front suspension and the worm. I have got the original worm and uh, I have got the original suspension. These were the duplicate ones, some SAI brand and uh, it's swinging like anything. It goes down, it, it dives a lot. I will show you in a video. Let's take a look how it dives and uh, that's the original unit. So the first step is to get this uh, wheel out cause only then we would be able to access the uh, these two these two nuts so that we could take out the socket. So let's begin with taking out the wheel. So the wheel is out. Now we have to remove that internal nut. I guess you won't be able to see it. I'll show you with a torchlight. So this one and then this nut that we have to open up right now. That's it, it's out. Place all the nuts and the fastener safely. Now, <coughs> uh, we have to open these two also. It's out. Now we have to take out this nut. Uh, the standard procedure is to put a plier here and then rotate this one. So, uh, sorry, not plier, screwdriver. Or oh, it should be done. It's difficult. We need so. What's happening is if we are going to rotate it this way, it will go along with the body of the sock absorber and uh, since this is too small so we can't use it and uh, this technique of holding it here and uh, then rotating it is not really going to work. So in case if you are not really having this sized uh, wrench or something to hold it, you can uh, always use this kind of clamp and I'll show you how to do it. It would make your job easy. You first tighten it. The goal is to stop the uh, paired motion of these two. So we'll be tightening it here and then we'll be forcing it to the ground to get some leverage. Tight. Let's try it. Should work this way. Okay, so hold it like this. Now pull it this way. open take it out carefully take out all the rubber bits mm -hmm. that's how it's done now we'll take out the newer sock absorber Same old exercise, <laughs> just take the clamp from here. Mm. 
and place it here. It, it's done nice and clean now before uh, replacing this uh, since the worm 2 has also gone bad so right now we are in a very good position because otherwise the access to this particular nut is very tough so we will change the worm 2 back to the sock absorber video okay Take it out. Once the lower these two nuts are done, time to fix the top nut. That's for light. Okay, so fixing these upper two nuts uh, is a uh, Upper these two, I guess uh, you are able to see this and this one is real pain in ass. No, since uh, one of the nut is already in place, so we can take chance with the second one. Take one more try. Okay, this time we succeeded. Ah, oh, relief. Simply tighten this. Now, since this was the front nut, is without washer, so we will lose it now and put up a fresh nut with. Wasser. Ah. <clears throat> Apply a little amount of grease. Time to repeat that exercise.
2,000 years later. Das wird was tough. I can't really describe in words how difficult it is to fix this nut with the mudguards on. What a fine build for Sunday. Can't really be more awesome than this. So be it all done. Time for the wheels to go in place. From here, simple. Before fixing, apply grease at all the nuts. That's it, it's done. That's it folks, so the worm is replaced, sock up job is replaced, the meter is working fine, the sock up job is working fine. Now the next in the series <laughs> is CBR and for that we have to tighten the chain, we have already changed the brake parts, the rear brake parts. That would be all, we just got these two apprentices. <laughs> <laughs> they are here to learn with their cycles outside. <laughs> here is one new one. <laughs> that's Rudrax, this is Chutki and uh, that's Shivam. Shivam? Chitiz. Sorry. Chitiz. <laughs> Alright folks then, till the next video, signing off, build it, ride it.